In this video, we're going to be talking about betrayal and chaos in the fight for control. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of Rat City, issue number five, brought to you by Rated Comics. So previously in Rat City, Peter and Quinlan retrace their footsteps to piece together what's happening. Meanwhile, Dr. Ammon is hot on their heels. So before we go forward, because we ended the issue with Peter and Quillen talking about piecing together with Reese, what happened, the whole nano nanites technology and how now Peter is the new spawn 2099 in the future or whatnot. We got to go back like chiropractic to Pasadena. We see Dr. Bose talking about that he started off as an idealist, but you know, Quinlan's talking about he's full of crap. So here we see him as a professor teaching students and these students are not paying attention. So we see this guy with this like digital dot in the middle of his face right there talking about he has an opportunity for him that he'd like to discuss so now pts years later that dr bose and this guy the chief science officer is in a meeting they talk about you know profits are steady with the company steady means it's on a decline we want growth and we want growth real fast and we've made a significant investment in you dr bose and dr ammon so now what are they talking about what do they want to do well shareholders want money and dr ammon's like yes we've been working on the nanotech technology right Right? And the nanotech technology is what Dr. Ammon and Dr. Bose were experiencing with vets with limbs to see if they can marry the nanites with their limbs for, I think, military purposes. That's what we're going at over here. And Dr. Bose is getting happy because he's talking about, yes, the nanite technology, we could talk about real made organs from our own cells that they wouldn't reject the meds. It'll be a good, happy marriage and this will make the company a lot of money and we could do a lot of things with it. And the chief science officer is like, I know you're not familiar with every product we make. I know I lost count myself, but BTS manufactures rejection drugs. Your nanotech technology, we don't want to reject in the manufactured drugs or those meds that we're talking about because we make those. We don't want to make ourselves obsolete, do we? And Dr. Bose is like, okay, well, what exactly do you want? And he says he wants to get shake things up, get creative with your nano idea. I'm not saying scrap it, but put it on the back burner. We need something flashy here. Something to for the marketing department to sink their teeth into. We put a lot of investment in you. And people are fickle and we must keep a hold in our market. So even this guy who is the boss, even he's expected to answer to somebody. So he's putting pressure on Dr. Bose so Dr. Bose could put pressure on Dr. Ammon. Even though the nanotech technology seems cool, he wants something more flashy or reinvent the nanotech technology. So the thing is, this is what Quillen is telling Peter. And now that Dr. Bose has to go back to Dr. Ammon and Dr. Ammon's like, okay, let me guess, the chairman cut our funny right here. There's some bull jive. Even though they're on the verge of discovery here, Dr. Bose is feeling the pressure and Dr. Ammon is not really feeling it at all. So now Dr. Bose is like, we need something faster, newer, more innovative. We need to think about PTS and its shareholders. And Dr. Ammon speaking like a scientist, like I don't give a damn about the shareholders. We're scientists. We're here to make the world a better place. Mm, well, it has to be a better place for all. And sometimes what's better for you ain't better for the herd. It's just crazy how that works, man. So Dr. Bose is like, well, the chairman gives a damn. And there's plenty that we can do. We just need to make sure what, says Dr. Ammon, that the chairman's happy. Hey, hold up. He's my boss and I am yours. This is wrong and you know it. So now Dr. Ammon threatens to go back to teach at MIT. And Dr. Bose is pissed because even though Dr. Ammon is the true head like the true talent of the whole robotics and nanotechs well dr bose is his boss so without him he wouldn't get very far so dr bose tells him we can do whatever we want with or without you we're going to keep it going but if you want a scintilla of control you'll stay and help me or you can get the hell out of here and well i guess dr ammon realizes that so now we go back to quillen's apartment the way issue number four ended he holds them at gunpoint and Peter's like, okay, Ammon, put the gun down. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a new exosuit. Or did the nanites do that to you? So he's thinking that's their technology that they have to take back to the chief science officer. Is that what Bose is secretly working on behind my back? I wonder if it'll finally make the chairman happy. So now we know what the stakes are on their end and we know what the stakes are on Peter's end because his friend Reese died. Quinlan was looking for some files to see what exactly what PTS was doing and they're just knowing that it is not a good thing at all. 
So Ammon's like, I'm not here for you, Peter. I'm here for what's mine. Do you have my files, Quinlan? Screw you. And how did you find me, says Quinlan. Well, he goes back to the flashback and says it wasn't that difficult. I've been tracking you since I gave you that power booster. I had a little friend tag along. The moment you integrated into your system, it downloaded the tracker. The only thing it didn't give me was the files you were supposed to secretly encrypt, but I knew where you were every step of the way. And when Quinlan was supposed to decrypt the files on what PTS was doing, that's when the issue issue of spawn issue 300 or 301 when spawn just uses body as like a necroplasmic bomb past present and future that's what happened but they don't know that and that's what makes this story so interesting so Ammon's like look so I'd rather not do this this way but you're leaving me no choice give me the damn files and Peter's like yo stay behind me Quillen they're calling you a deviant says Dr. Ammon did you know that are you gonna kill me too deviant we don't have your freaking files says Peter oh guess I'll just have to put my gun away then on second thought Ammon had no idea what one shot would do he blasted and we know that the suit reacts in a chain reaction as a defense mechanism Quinlan can't stand the noise level, so Quinlan has to cover his ears. Are you crazy? I don't have your damn files. Your shitty freaking booster messed up my system and the lights went out. My booster was flawless, says Dr. Emmett. It didn't cause a blackout. Then what did? They don't know. But we know, Spawn did in issue 301. So Peter's like, just take a breath. I don't hear any security coming, so we're leaving. Oh, no, no, says Dr. Ammon. Bose corrupted my design. I need to know what he's done. Do you want answers, Lieutenant Karn? He's talking to Peter over here. Dr. Bose screwed us all over. Help us take him down. And Quillen's like, this is BS right here. He doesn't want to help. He just wants his job back because we know the severity of the stakes that they're dealing with. And we can't let him live, Peter. What'd you say? Why? Why is Reese dead? Your partner, my friend, it's him or us killing Peter. And we see all this distortion happening here. Adapt or die. This is a suit taking over right here. Kill him, Peter. Kill him. Oh, you were always a killer, Lieutenant, says Dr. Emmett. Kill me, Lieutenant. Do it. And this is not the kind of hype you want to be hyped on right now. So this suit takes on the form of the violator. Quinlan looking violator and Dr. Ammon looking violator. Either way, they both nasty. Adapt or die and Peter is left with the choice. And before Peter makes that choice, well, he's going to adapt or die, but I'm going to leave you guys with this. This video is sponsored by coffee. So if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the super thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video or subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel because I do these reviews early in the morning before I take the kids to school. But with all that being said, let's get back into the content. So now that that Ammon is witnessing the defense mechanism of the suit, he's thinking, oh man, I think we might have struck gold with this nanotech technology. So Quinlan's like, Peter, can you hear me? Can you hear me? And the suit's just going all crazy right now, spiking up, going out of control. And Dr. Ammon's like, well, while he's going through his phase right now, I'm sure the lieutenant will be fine. But you and I are leaving, Quinlan. Grabs Quinlan by the arm. Quinlan's like, hail to the nod. See these elbows right here. And Dr. Ammon is pissed. So he points Quillen at gunpoint and it's just like I had enough of you before he could pull the trigger you have to believe that Peter didn't know what he was doing because that suit took on a life of his own and does the unthinkable with Dr. Ammon right there and we're just gonna let you marinate with that image for a little bit but that is the end of Rat City issue number five betrayal and chaos in the fight for control they need the suit back to appease the chief science officer and peter's trying to figure out what's going on meanwhile spawn in the past or the present or future whatever the case is yeah he whatever he did in 301 with the necroplasm bomb that he did that is the aftermath of it into the future so now we got spawn 2099 running around over here causing some damage what you guys think of the comic book comment below let me know also link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection support the art support the industry thank you again for watching until next time